Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to be opening something that I've been waiting for years to open. As some of you might know, I was a senior in high school this year. I am graduating in like two weeks. Um, I'll probably be graduating around the time I post this video. At my high school, I, I really don't remember making this letter, but um, I'm really excited to open it because I opened up one part of it and I looked at it and I was like, okay, I can't, I can't open this. I realized like how crazy this might be because I need to like see what my mind was like when I was a freshman in high school because those were some times. I just thought it would be really nice to share this with you guys because it would be like a throwback and it would be almost like, like this was Kylie before YouTube. This was Kylie before dyeing my hair, before any of that, before any of this. So today I'm going to read you this letter that I wrote to myself as a freshman in high school to my senior self. So this says, Kylie, my last name, uh, 2014, <laughs> don't open till 2017, that's what it says. Alright, alright, first of all, I gotta show you this part. This says, IG followers, 1,329, currently, as of... 2017 June I have 75,400 followers on Kylie the Jellyfish that's a big difference in four years it says law dispute and then the law dispute flower is drawn very poorly <laughs> no offense past Kylie um, it has the little BVB symbol because I was really obsessed with them back then I don't listen to them anymore but I always will have a respect for how they shaped me as a person, as a youngin. My Tumblr follower count was 1,082. Now my follower count on Tumblr is 5,459. Um, by the way, today is Saturday, June 10th of 2017. Um, and then in the corner it says PS did I ever go to Warp Tour? And the answer for you, freshman Kylie, is yes. I've gone to Warp Tour three times now. My fourth time will be this year, July 16th. I was so obsessed with the idea that I might end up ever going to Warp Tour in my life. It's like really heartwarming to know that like I am where I wanted to be. Reading the actual letter, for some reason it was like purple up here and then I decided to use blue. I liked using colored pens back then, I really do remember that. Now I just use blue, like, okay, this is crazy. This is like a questionnaire for me. Dear future Kylie the Jellyfish. Oh my gosh. Okay, this says June 17, 2014. That's in seven days, four years ago. First of all, I must say that I am quite excited to meet you. <laughs> More as be you one day. Being a freshman, I got to see a lot more people than I never met before. What? Kylie. Uh, being a freshman, I got to see a lot more people that I had never met before, and I am now- As you most likely recall, of course not if I suffer a major head injury and lost my memory, <laughs> that I experienced a lot of different things this year that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. What? Sorry for switching pens. The other one was frustrating me. <laughs> I have a few questions. One, did high school get socially easier? Wow. High school did not get socially easier, and I'll tell you why. Freshman Kylie just started using Focalin, which was the ADHD medication that helps me focus in school because without it, I can't do my schoolwork very easily. I'm still taking it to this day. I'm not taking it today, but it makes me really focused and not care about anything else except for one thing that I have to do. So like it makes me zero in on the important things that I know I have to get done and I don't care about socializing, I don't care about having fun, I don't even care about joking around or talking to people. So it was very difficult to talk to people in school and people probably thought I was either shy, really mean and thought I was better than anyone else, which I have heard other people think that I'm better than them, but like I swear like I tell people this all the time, it's seriously my meds. and. 
I don't want to excuse my personality for my meds, but like, it was it's it was just a really big issue, and it it's always been. But the thing is, it hasn't been getting easier or more difficult. It's just something I learned to live with. I accept that this is me in school, this is me outside of school. I can find a balance. Like on the days that I don't have to do work, I won't take my focal in, you know, because I, then I can actually socialize and have fun. And my friends know the moment I walk into class not on my meds, they know because they're like, oh, it's Kylie. Kylie's back. <laughs> it's really, it's interesting, but um, that's why it did not necessarily get socially easier. I just stopped caring as much. Did high school get socially easier? Because this year I had trouble with that. Yeah. Um, number two is, is my handwriting better now? No. <laughs> my handwriting is not better now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have always said my whole life that I just have, I have boy handwriting. Because, like, remember back in elementary school, all the guys, like, you couldn't read what they wrote. Not trying to be sexist or anything, but, like, the girls, I was always envious of the girls in my class's handwriting because... It, they used all of these pretty pens and they did swirly Y's and just like cute little round letters and I didn't know how to do that. I was like, I'm horrible at writing. I, I need to learn how to like have good penmanship. Um, but I never really did. I, I have the same handwriting. <laughs> Number three, am I still friends with Chantal, Sarah, Catherine, Kat, Jack, Milder, Jessica, and by the way, Ellie, if she's still a living cat. Oh, so let me go through them. Chantel, yes, but she moved away from our school. She's still in the same house. Like I could walk to her house. It just takes a little while. Um, but she and I still talk on occasion. But it's kind of hard to keep track of friends when like you're both really busy in school, especially at this time of the year and. The fact that we're both going to different schools so we don't ever see each other anymore we just kind of have to like try to see each other like I saw her for her birthday um, we hung out around that time and um, yeah so like we do keep in contact like we're still good friends um, Sarah and Catherine I actually just hung out with them yesterday yes we are good friends the sad part is all of those friends are in classes together so they hang out like every day and talk to each other and they're best friends I just talk to them occasionally and I still call them my best friends because they've, they've been my best friends since like first grade but I I just I don't get to see them that often because I'm in so many like classes that I don't know people in so I just figured why don't I just focus on work this year. Kat um, was my best friend in 8th grade and freshman year. She's still my best friend today. I'm actually going to see her today. We're going, we're going in a limo together for prom. Um, with her boyfriend and everything and it's, it's gonna be so exciting her and I don't get to hang out that much anymore because like whenever we like started to get into like more relationships and stuff we would talk to each other every now and then but like we were just more like focused on other things and like work relationships school uh, she's in theater I'm doing YouTube and stuff so we just had so many other things in our life that we had to do um, we still love each other Jack okay so Jack aka Walter uh, I dated him freshman year. I, I was like, you know, grateful that like I was in that relationship because it really opened my eyes and made me more of like accepting of other people and stuff. But um, he moved to a different school, kind of right next to mine. But I wonder how he's doing because um, I actually made an art journal page about him and how I was hoping he was okay and everything. Cause um, it was I was kind of more of a nurturer for him. Like I I wanted to always take care of him and like make sure he was okay. So it, it really made me kind of step up as a person, um, and that's the kind of relationship that like shaped me. Um, but I don't really talk to him anymore because then he was also best friends with my other ex that ended badly. So, huh. Milder, aka they go by Lucy now. Um, I have not seen Lucy in a little over a year, I think. And we never really were that close. I just kind of hung out with these friends. Okay. Lucy and Jessica, so those two hung out with their best friends. I don't know where they are now, but I know that like we weren't even really close friends. I just hung out with them because they were friends with Jack and um, they were really nice to me sometimes and 
I mean, well, there was just drama. There was drama in that friend group, and I stuck with them because I, I just wanted to identify with them because they listened to music that I liked, and I thought they were really cool because they had colorful hair before I did. And then Ellie is my cat, so she is still alive, and she's actually way healthier than she probably was back then because she was a little bit obese. She was like a fat little roan cat, but now she's lost weight because we got her on a diet since um, her hips are broken, so... Um, we, we can't have too much weight on her or else it hurts her body. So we got her on this diet so that she's a lot more slim, but she has like really hanging um, skins. It's really cute. Currently, I think that I want to be a graphic designer. <laughs> I want to be a graphic designer, dubstep DJ, band manager, or tattoo artist. Um, I don't want to be a dubstep DJ. <laughs> I don't know, I, that's so random, like, I never even had, like, a passion for that. Like, that was never a thing for me. Why did I want to do that? I have no idea. But anyways, um, I don't want to be a graphic designer anymore. I decided against it because I, it made me too frustrated. Um, but I made four concentration pieces for computer graphics this year. I can flash them on the screen right now. That's as far as I've gotten in computer graphics and graphic design, and I really... I like digital art and stuff, but it's just not my thing for, like, income. Like, I just don't want to do that for my living. Um, I kind of want to either be, um, I want to be all of these things. I want to be a hair colorist. I want to continue with YouTube and then also be a you -nower. Um, I want to do that more regularly. Um, possibly, like, modeling on the side. I'm going to be a, an official Lefty 29 ambassador for um, this skater brand that's located around uh, the U.S. I, um, those are like things that I want to do now. Later on down the road, I want to make my own brand, um, either hair dye, makeup, or something, something in that way. Um, I want to, I want to pursue photography, cinematography, videography, filmography, something like that. I might want to direct short films or music videos or something like that, and be an editor of videos. Um, I also was considering being um, like a band manager, like I said here, but not so much as a manager, but like, I don't know, like with Cameron's band, I'm a part of the band, but I, I thought about it, maybe I could be a host for certain things um, in the band community, like alternative press, I could work for them, I could work, I don't know, I'm really just going down the road and kind of seeing what takes me wherever makes me happiest, because my my decision was that I don't want to put my money into schooling that will give me a degree in something I decide I don't want to do. Like computer, like graphic design is an expensive thing to go to school for, and I decided against it because I don't want to do it. Now, if I decided that I wanted to be a photographer and then went through all the schooling for that and then decided against it again, I would be wasting money, you know. So right now I'm just kind of dabbling in everything, kind of seeing where I want to go, and when I'm ready I will put the money into it and do that. But for right now, like everything that I'm doing, it, it's going down the right path, and if I just stay strong and I keep working really hard and continue like with what I'm doing, like I think this could be a really good path for me. But not just this path, like I can do multiple things at once, like I, I want to do a little bit of everything. I want experience, and no, I don't want to be a tattoo artist anymore. Um, I might, I might even consider that again. I just don't think drawing is really something I want to do because I feel like commission work is the scariest thing ever, and I don't want to deal with people like freaking out about my art on their body forever. And if they don't like it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> uh, do I still have these interests? Uh, yeah, I do still have those interests. I don't really listen to dubstep anymore, but I listen to a lot of things maybe similar. Um, also, do I still have plugs? Yes, um, I think back then I had... I, oh! It says right now I am at 2G. So I was at 2G, I'm now at uh, half an inch. It's actually five sizes up from where I was um, when I was a freshman. Um, and then it says, well, good luck with college. Thank you for staying strong, Kylie. Aww. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to a community college, so yeah, I'm going to college. I really thought I was going to be going to a four-year university, but then I really decided that that's something 
I not only do I not want to do it and it's not because I'm lazy and not because it's intimidating but because I just really dread the environment like I don't I don't want to do that I don't want to do what other people are doing right now like I'm doing things that other people are not doing right now and I'm fine and right now I'm trying different things so hopefully it all works out because um, maybe I don't know maybe I should make a video like this soon for like my 25 year old self maybe I should do that 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 would be actually pretty cool um, because documenting my life and everything is a really big part of my life as you may have seen in my video um, about 20 stories about me it was a really hard video to put together so if you guys want to watch it please click it up here because that video tells a lot about me and a lot of things that a lot of people don't know about me um, so yeah <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video please leave it a like um, I really enjoyed making this video this is the kind of video that made me start wanting to do YouTube like this is like really what I love to do um, like really talk about my life and document things and like Keep track of stuff like that it's very important to me so um if you could please leave a like that would be great comment anything you'd like down below i really don't mind um it's pretty awesome seeing what you have to say subscribe to me if you haven't already thank you thank you so much for watching stay epic bye